You're watching KPRC2, Houston's home for news. New at 6 o'clock, the future of Fuddruckers. The Houston-based burger chain has new ownership. And the story behind that acquisition is inspiring. Nicholas Perkins is the first African-American to own a national burger chain. And he's just 40 years old. KPRC2's Sion Rhodes live in Tomball with that story. Sion, a lot of Houstonians have fond memories of Fuddruckers, uh, you included, right? <laughs> Yeah, definitely, Keith. It wasn't at this location, but Fuddruckers was the site of one of my preteen birthdays back in the day. Not so long ago, I'd like to think anyway. But at one point, there were 500 Fuddruckers all around. Now they're down to just under 100. But the new owner says he has plans to restore this chain to its former glory. I like a two-third burger, medium well. When North Carolina native Nicholas Perkins set out to buy Fuddruckers, he wasn't just buying a brand. It's really, really nostalgic for me. He purchased a piece of his childhood. Like many people, I grew up eating Fuddruckers. It's been my favorite hamburger that you could ever buy. In June, Luby's announced the 40-year-old Perkins had made the winning bid, valued at $18.5 million, beating 149 other companies to take over all 92 locations in the U.S. and abroad. I've got a lot of work to do, but at the same time, it's going to be uh, very, very uh, impactful to be a part of what I consider to be a re-emergence of the world's greatest hamburger. The deal making him the first African-American to own a national hamburger franchise system. I look Look very much forward to being able to empower others to be able to become entrepreneurs. Perkins says he has a three-phase plan to reintroduce Fuddruckers, including adding a mobile app and customer loyalty program, bringing new life to a place so many hold dear. I used to go when I was a kid and actually in Dubai, um, halfway around the world, and um, I used to study there for my exams. So it was really a fond memory that I have. Now sharing that nostalgia with the next generation. Their fries are really good. I like how much comes with their meals. Their burgers are really good. I feel very honored, feel very blessed, uh, excited about the future. So the deal will officially close this fall. Perkins says he will keep Fuddruckers headquarters here in Houston with plans to hire more employees very soon. Live in Tomball, Sion Rhodes, KPRC 2 News. Mm -hmm. Awesome story. And yeah, we 